Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. This week uh, I want to move forward with a topic that we already covered in the previous episode. In fact, last week we saw how you can uh, create a Microsoft Team using the Microsoft Graph. But very often in the Microsoft Teams area you also need to create a team for a project, for a product, for an event. Uh, and when the event, the project, the product is completed or released, usually your end users want to somehow get rid of the team that has been created for that purpose. And that's why in the Microsoft Graph we have an endpoint that you can use to archive a team. And when you archive a team, users will not be able to send any more messages or like messages they will not uh, be able to edit the name, the description or all the other settings of the team uh, and they will not be able to apply any kind of changes to the team except the fact that they will be able still to change the membership of uh, users to that team so that you can always remove uh, a member or an owner and add another one as long as you have at least one owner for the team, even for the archive team, uh, you are good to go. You can always unarchive a team if you want to uh, restart working on that project uh, or on that team with your uh, users, but it is very useful to somehow clean up uh, the uh, whole set of teams that users have uh, in their end when they work on a daily basis. In order to archive a team, you will need uh, to have uh, the graph permissions for group rewrite all, and you can use either the uh, delegated permissions or the application permission in a, for example, in a batch application uh, running in a job or in an Azure function. That said, as usual, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to play with this functionality. So here I am in Microsoft Teams uh, and I have a team that I just created uh, using a bunch of PowerShell scripting uh, with the procedure that I showed you in the previous episode. Now, let's say that I want to archive uh, this team. Well, if I go to PowerShell, as we did last week, uh, I can easily connect uh, with Connect PMP Online, uh, getting an access token based on a permission scope that I will request, which is the group.readwrite.all, and I will get back an access token. And uh, once I've done that, uh, I can make uh, a request, uh, a REST request uh, for the graph.mysoft.com uh, version 1.0 slash teams, slash the ID of the team that I want to archive and archive, which is the uh, endpoint, the action that I want to execute. Of course, here I have the ID of the team and in the archive uh, request body, I can even specify if I want to set the SPO site in read-only mode for members, which is my choice. So let's do that. Let me set up uh, the headers. Let me set up the team ID and let me create the request body. And once I have that, uh, I can simply make an HTTP request uh, for the endpoint that we saw. The response will be an HTTP 200, so just an OK, uh, stating that the action has been executed. And if I go back now to Microsoft Teams, you can see that I have this icon because the team is archived. Uh, moreover, I can even go to the uh, SharePoint site backing my team and based on the request I made for members, the content of the site will be read-only. So really useful to fully archive a team and all of its content. Of course, if I want to roll back the archive request, I can always make another request to unarchive the same team ID in the Teams group of actions. Let's do that and the response will still be at 200, so just an, an HTTP OK. And if I go back to Microsoft Teams, now my team has been unarchived. So really simple and really easy to do, but really useful whenever you want to uh, get rid, you want to archive uh, old stuff uh, that you don't change uh, anymore on a daily basis. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.